it is requested to find derivative of h at the point 0 and all these values are given ok let's start since it is requested to find h h prime of 0 the starting point is h prime of x as you see we have composition of some functions f g and sine function right uh, so we have chain rule let's start from the outside derivative of f is f prime f prime you don't change the inside of the parentheses now it is the first step and the second step is to multiply this expression by derivative of g which is g prime you still don't change the inside of the parentheses okay we go step by step times derivative of inside again derivative of sine 4x is 4 times cosine 4x this 4 is coming from derivative of 4x okay it's all the rest is just plug the value 0 instead of x then you have h prime of 0 is equal to f prime of g of sine 0 times g prime of sine 0 times 4 cosine 0 ok one more step sine 0 is 0 g of 0 from question g of 0 is 2 f prime of 2 is given here it, this is 4 4 times sine 0 is 0 g prime of 0 is 3 times 4 times cosine 0 is 1 so the answer is 48 ok I hope you understand let's continue with the second question it is requested to find derivative of y y is the general form of exponential function we have two ways to solve this question I want to show these two ways the first way since you have general form of exponential function you may apply ln to each size of this equality then you have ln y is equal to using the properties of ln you have x over x plus 1 times ln x plus 1 times ln e ln base ok then we continue to differentiate each side of the equality it is the first way the second way just apply just use derivative rule of exponential function what is derivative rule y prime is equal to you write the function itself first x plus 1 and multiply by its derivative by the power of by derivative of power by derivative of power right it is the second rule let me continue by second rule this is equal to we first write the function itself e to the power x over x plus 1 times derivative of this quotient this rational function derivative of numerator times denominator which is x plus 1 derivative of numerator is 1 derivative of times denominator minus derivative of denominator which is 1 times numerator x over square of denominator it is the formula of quotient rule of derivative ok then you finally have this is equal to 
e to the power x plus x over x plus 1 times you cancel these two terms and you have this expression okay it is all what about the first way in the first way you continue to differentiate each size to each size of the equality then you have y prime over y using the derivative rule for ln function this is equal to ln e is 1 so 1 times derivative of this expression what is derivative of this expression we actually obtained derivative of this expression this quotient this rational function this is uh, 1 over 1 over x plus 1 square okay so it means y prime is equal to y times y times y what is y y is given here right why why is the question actually why is the function in the question e to the power x over x plus 1 times over sorry x plus 1 square so as you see there they are the same okay let's continue uh, let f be an invertible function of x and h of x is given by this equality it is requested to find h prime of e and we have some information f prime of 1 is given and f of 1 is also given again the first step is to differentiate this equality with respect to x let's start h prime of x is equal to you have a general form of exponential function so what if if you have a general form of exponential function what do we do before starting before starting take derivative of each size we take ln of each size right ln h of x ln of the left hand side is equal to ln of right hand side okay using the properties of ln function we have f inverse of x times ln x okay. now we are ready to differentiate to differentiate each size of the equality derivative of left hand side is equal to using the properties of ln function we have derivative of inside over inside derivative of h prime of derivative of h over h I need some space this is equal to we have multiplication of two functions first derivative of first component times second component derivative of first component derivative of inverse times second component plus first component which is inverse f times derivative of ln x is 1 over x right now we are ready to plug the value e here e is the number e famous one then we have h prime of e is equal to and we multiply right hand side right hand side of the quality by h of e okay then we have h of e times d over dx of f inverse of x at the point e times ln e plus f inverse of e divided by e okay so we need some information we need to find f inverse of e for instance what is f inverse of e let me write down here f inverse of e let's say this is a we don't know what is f inverse of e when you apply f to each size of the equality 
you have f of a is equal to e so for which value f is e it is a question for which value of x f becomes e let's look at the question when x is 1 f becomes e so a is 1 in this case a is 1 okay and uh, so this is 1 right this is 1 okay what about derivative of inverse at the point e okay let me also show this one derivative of inverse of f at the point e is equal to using the formula of inverse of derivative derivative of inverse sorry this is the formula right okay what is f inverse of a one right this is one so what is f prime of one let's go back to the question f prime of one do we have this information yes f prime of one is given this is one over two this is also one over this is one over two so you have two here right derivative of inverse at the point e becomes 2 so let's continue to compute h prime of e what is h of e what is h of e okay let me see the h h is here guys so we have e to the power f inverse of e times this is 2 we computed this ln 1 is 1 plus plus 1 over e 1 over e and finally we have since f inverse of e is equal to 1 we have e times 2 plus 1 over e and this is 2e plus 1 okay i hope you understand at least the idea of the solution and uh, finally do we have no we have the fifth one also we have a general form of exponential function we first take the ln of each size to have derivative of this function let's start derivative ln of left hand side is equal to using the properties of ln e to the power x times ln e to the power x we also have two ways to solve this question you are all free and using the properties of ln this function becomes x right ln e to the power x is equal to x itself now we are ready to differentiate both, both sides of the equality. Derivative of ln y is y prime over y. Why do we have y prime over y? Since y is a function of x, y is not a variable. This is why we have y prime over y. This is equal to derivative of right hand side. We have multiplication of two functions of x. Derivative of first component is the function itself times second component plus first component times derivative of second component derivative of x is 1 so y prime becomes y prime is equal to y times what is y y is the function itself e to the power x to the power e to the power x the parentheses of this we have e to the power x x plus e to the power x you can also simplify this expression as e to the power x to the power e to the power x plus 1. You can take this exponential function to the outside of parentheses. Finally, you have x plus 1 in the parentheses. Okay? This is all. And finally, the fifth one. We have multiplication of 
a complicated function x plus 10, x plus 9, x plus 8 and finally x minus 10 so it, it seems we have x minus 9, x minus 8 and x and continue to uh, x plus 10 what is requested to find? it's requested to find derivative of f at the point 10 so f prime is equal to f prime of x let's say first since we have multiplication of many pieces uh, we go step by step derivative of first component is 1 times the rest x plus 10 times x minus 10 right derivative of second component is 1 and you write the rest x plus 10 x minus 10 okay if you go if you use this idea and finally if you take derivative of the last term plus derivative of the last term is 1 1 times x plus 10 x plus 9 and you go on let's look at the derivative of the function at the point 10 here okay as you see this becomes 0 this becomes 0 and all other parts are 0 actually okay you only have this expression and when you plug the value 10 you have 20, 19, 18, and finally you have 20 factorial. What is all for the time being? I will prepare one more video, one more lecture for your midterm exam.